Hi guys, this video is all about flame tests and how we can use them to test for some metal ions. The pieces of equipment that are most accurate at doing this look a little bit like this. You've got a stick with a piece of night chrome wire on the end which has a loop. And what you do with this is you put it into concentrated HCl to remove the impurities. And then you can just scoop up your metal ions or your metal compound and then hold it in the flame. This is the best way of doing it. In today's video, I'm going to use wooden splints to hold my metal ions in the fire. Um, the reason being is that it's really tricky to get enough of them onto here to really show the flame colour. So, let's check out the flame tests. Okay, the first ion that I'm going to test for is the lithium ion. So here I've got lithium chloride, which contains Li+. When you put it in the flame, you should notice that it's got a really, really strong red colour, and that's indicating the presence of lithium plus ions. The second test that you need to know about is the sodium ion test. So here I've got sodium chloride. Remember, the chloride has nothing to do with the flame test at all. It's all the sodium ions. So sodium ions burn with a bright yellow flame. It's a really intense color that you get from sodium, actually one of the most intense that you can see. The third one is potassium. Now, potassium probably gives the most difficult colour to see of all of them, and the potassium ions will show this lilac colour. And lilac is just the description of a very pale purple. So check it out. Can you make out the pale purple? Otherwise, you might want to do this yourself in the lab. The last one is my favourite one, uh, which is the copper 2 plus ion. And if you've got a compound that contains copper 2 plus and you put it in the flame, then you get this magical blue-green colour. Now what's worth me saying is that I'm not putting the pure metals into these flames. What I've got is I've got the metal compounds. So, you're testing for metal ions not the metals themselves. 